Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to link up your Xbox One controller with Bluetooth to your Raspberry Pi running RetroPi. It's actually pretty simple, but you will need a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi unless you want to do this over your network using an SSH application like Putty. But we're going to do it all on the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing you're going to need is an Xbox One controller that has Bluetooth built in. The old ones that don't have Bluetooth will not work. Those are 2.4 gigahertz and it just won't connect to the Raspberry Pi. The next thing you're going to need to do is update the Xbox One controller. If you have an Xbox One, you can plug it in, hit your update and get the latest firmware on the controller. If you don't have an Xbox One and you're running a Windows PC, you need to have Windows 10 with the anniversary edition. Then you're going to go to the Windows Store and download the Xbox Accessories app. I'll leave a link in the description. Go ahead and make sure your Xbox One controller is completely up to date. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this working. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is plug in our keyboard to our Raspberry Pi. I also have a controller hooked up so I can remap my Xbox One controller as soon as I get it synced up. From the keyboard, you're gonna press F4. That'll bring us into the terminal. From the terminal, you need to type this in exactly like it shows on screen. sudo nano forward slash op forward slash retro pi forward slash configs forward slash all forward slash auto start dot sh. Press enter. Now we need to input this line, the line at the very top. It's on screen now. You need to type it out exactly like it's shown. It needs to be above the emulation station pound auto line. sudo bash minus c space quotation echo space one space greater than sign space forward slash sys forward slash module forward slash bluetooth forward slash parameters forward slash disable underscore ertm quotation you need to type it out exactly like it's shown on screen and it needs to be above the emulation station pound auto when you're done here, you're going to press Control X, Y, Enter. And now we're going to type in sudo reboot. Press Enter, and your Raspberry Pi will reboot. Now it's time to pair our Xbox One controller. We're going to scroll over to RetroPie, Bluetooth. From here, you want to make sure you don't have the Xbox controller already trying to pair. So we're going to go to remove Bluetooth devices. You should see nothing here if you haven't ever paired anything. Press OK. Now on the Xbox One controller, we're going to hold the Xbox button until the power comes on. And we're going to press the sync button on the top of the controller. Now the light on your Xbox One controller should be flashing rapidly. We're going to click on register and connect a Bluetooth device. Press OK. It's going to search. Now, if you don't get it the first time, you might have to go to cancel, but mine came up the first time. Xbox wireless controller. Click OK. Now we need to choose number one. Display yes, no. Click OK. Give it a few seconds. Successfully registered and connected. Now we need to back up with the other controller we are using to navigate these menus. Go to Cancel. Press Start on your controller. Scroll to Configure Input. Now you should see two gamepads detected. Grab your Xbox One controller and hold A. Now we're just going to set up our Xbox One controller. D-pad, up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. If you notice, it did not detect those two. We're going to have to go back up. So we're going to finish this up. Right thumb, analog left, up, down, left, right. Analog right, up, down, left, right. My hotkey is going to be my Xbox button in the middle. Now we're going to use the D-pad to navigate back up to what was not detected the first time. Right trigger. Press A, press your right trigger, and our left thumb. Press A, and your left thumb. Now we can use our D-pad to go all the way back down to the bottom. 
Press A when OK is highlighted. Give it a few seconds. And you're now using your Xbox One wireless controller with your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. It's actually pretty simple to set up. You just need to add that line to the autostart.sh. Now I'm gonna show you that this is working. We're gonna scroll over to Final Burn Alpha, Marvel versus Capcom. And then the very bottom left-hand corner, you should see Xbox wireless controller configured. And I'm using the Xbox One controller here. Hotkey, start. It'll bring us back into the emulation station menu. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have your Xbox One Bluetooth controller set up on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. If you check the description of this video, I am going to leave a Dropbox text file with that line you need to input. It was also listed on screen when I did it. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching. Real quick, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon, and if you're interested in helping the channel out, I really appreciate it. I also offer monthly Patreon giveaways, so go ahead and check it out. Links in the description.